Hey, t-shirt lovers. This is your humble host, Gary, here with the t-shirt help desk dot com, baby. And what we're going to do here is we have our cool model right here, you know, giving us a shout out right there. And we're going to put the classic record that we've been in our little series right here. The classic record, you know, the the Threatless Knockoff. We're going to put that on his t-shirt right here. And we're going to keep all the wrinkles in the folds and make it look really cool and realistic looking. And, you know, it's one of these cool kind of pictures that you would see on a t-shirt website, like, you know, uh, sites like Threadless or Snork Tees or any one of those really cool websites, you know. Go out, grab your camera, grab a friend, have them put on a blank t-shirt, take some pictures, and boom, come back to Photoshop and make it happen. So what we're going to do, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the Polygon Lasso tool. Okay, And I'm going to start, uh, I like to go in really, really close. All right, I like to start on, I'm going to go back to the Polygon Lasso tool, and I like to start right at a nice corner so that I can catch every little nook and cranny. Now this my friends can be very or somewhat time consuming but you want to go around the entire perimeter of Okay, and as you can see, I've gone around our model's t-shirts. You can tell by the white highlighted area. And if you can look right here, uh, you notice that there, I didn't have to highlight right there or, or right there. You don't, you can just leave that alone. All you need to worry about is this area right in the center. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to actually I'm going to make a new layer. Oh, jump back to this layer. I'm going to press press Control C. All right, or you can go right here to edit. Actually, Control C, and I'm going to click back on there. Control V. All right, and if I delete these other layers you'll see that you'll have you have this right here all by its lonely all right and if you let those come those back you'll see this all there so I'm just gonna go on this layer um, hit command all so there's no mistakes and what I'm going to do right now is I am going to take this and I'm going to go down to adjustments. I'm going to go down to hue. 
and saturation. I'm going to right and center right here, and I'm going to saturation. I'm going to take this bad boy all the way to the left until we get negative 99, which gives us a nice gray value. Okay. If I were to put this back, you see it looks like he has on a great t shirt. But that's not all. We're going to go back on that layer, and then we're going to go back to image, we're going to go down to adjustments, and then we're going to go down to levels. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to bring push over that white more to the left. Okay? And now I'm going to also push over the black. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make this thing. Highlight the darkest darks and the lightest lights. I'm trying to get as rid of as much gray as possible. Okay. That's looking pretty good right there to me. And this is something you could just, just like any other video, you just play with this to see what works best for you to give the look that you want. And then we're going to hit OK. All right. Then we're going to go back to that layer. And we're going to double click on that layer. which brings up our layer style alright and then we're simply gonna go right here to blend mode this is normal we're gonna go down to multiply now if you look it really doesn't make that much of a difference in the garment right there you click OK but now where it was gray before if I click back on that layer it looks pretty normal but not really but now what I'm going to do is we had our record from before, right? And I'm going to place that bad boy. File, place. Okay, we're going to go right here to solar, solar vinyl. I'm going to size it down. Just like before, I'm going to size it down. I'm going to hold down the shift key. And size it down so it stays proportional. I think I threw the, this out of proportion a little bit, but I got it back right there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. But anytime you're sizing, you could size like this any old way where it gets shrink and narrow but you want to hold down the shift key to you know to constrain the proportions okay make this a little bigger press enter now just like before it's like it's right on top but it's still I don't know kinda of got a funny look to it you know it just looks like it's a record just right on top so we're going to move this layer down in between those layers and you see how now you can see those wrinkles through, especially right there the way you can see the wrinkles through that and what I'm going to do also is I'm going to lighten the opacity on that layer just a little bit so it gives it a nice washed out vintage look. I can go right here to layer style. Hit OK. I could also go right here to that opacity. OK. I'm going to move it over a little bit with the nudge. I'm just taking the arrow keys and just hitting to the left. Okay, deselect. And there you have it, guys. This guy's wearing a cool record tee, which is a knockoff of our threadless tee. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you can take a picture of your friend um, and make your graphic and have something really cool to put up on threadless.com or something that looks like something on snorktees.com you can make your own website or you can always make your awesome t-shirts and hit us up 
over at uh, tshirtfresh.com, you know, one of our affiliates. And, you know, we may be able to sell your t-shirt over there. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure to go to tshirthelpdesk.com. And, you know, you may be able to, you know, see some, get some really cool stuff from us. A lot of cool things coming down the pike. So thanks a lot. And good t-shirt printing and all that good stuff. Have a great day.